In this video, I will show you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the Flip Fluids add-on. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by creating the stairs. So press S, then Set to scale the default cube on the z-axis, and then S, then X to scale it on the x-axis. And then next, we need to go into the modifiers and add an array modifier. And then we're going to set the offset on the Y and Z axis to get the stair pattern. And we need to make sure that they are close enough so that the cube doesn't fall in between them. And then next, we can increase the count to add some additional steps. And then press Ctrl S to save, give it a name, and you can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then we need to apply the array modifier. So uh, apply. And then next we can add the rigid body physics. And the stairs are going to be of the passive type as they are stationary. And then the uh, collision shape will be set to mesh. Okay. And then next we need to add a cube. So press shift A and then add a cube. And then press S to scale. And then you can press numpad 3 for side view. And then G to grab. And then we need to add some active physics to this cube so that it can fall down the stairs. Go to rigid body, active, and then set the shape to box. And then I like to set the uh, damping, translation, and rotation to 0.35 and 0.6 which I think looks more natural than the default values. And then you can press space to play the animation. And we can also uh, pause it, go to the first frame, and then press G, then set to grab it on the z-axis. So I think that looks fine. And then before we continue, we can create another save. So press Ctrl Shift S to create a new save. Click on the plus sign and then save. Then press Shift A and add a plane. Press S to scale. And then press G then set to grab it on the z-axis. And then let's add some uh, passive rigid body physics. And then set the shape to mesh. And when we uh, play the animation from the beginning, you will see that the physics for the floor works as well. Okay, so let's increase the length of the animation. And then go into the rigid body world settings and increase the uh, length here as well. Then create another save in case something crashes. And then you can bake the simulation. And as you can see, it works fine. So uh, now the next step is to add the water inside the cube. So we'll go to the first frame and then select the cube. Then press Shift D to duplicate, then S, then Set to scale it on the z-axis. And then press G, then Set to grab it on the z-axis. And then press S to scale. And then we can go into the physics settings. And the water itself does not need any rigid body physics because it's inside the cube. And then we can uh, set the flip fluid type to uh, fluid. And then next, we need to select the cube outside. And then add some uh, flip fluid physics for this cube as well. And I'm going to put it below the rigid body physics. And as for the flip fluid settings, I'm going to set this one to an obstacle type with the inverse type, because we have the water inside of the cube. And then make sure to export the animated mesh as well, so that it works with the rigid body physics. Okay. And then let's save one more time. And then select the point lamp and press X to delete. And then we can press Shift A and add a cube. This is going to be the domain. 
press S to scale, then G, then set to grab it on the z-axis, and then S, then set to scale it on the z-axis. You can also press G, then Y to grab it on the y-axis. And this object is going to be the domain type, which contains and uh, is the border of the simulation. And then I'm going to increase the resolution, which increases the quality of the simulation. You can also increase it further later on, if you don't mind a uh, long baking time. And then let's enable the uh, white water as well, so that we get some foam, bubbles, and spray. And then under uh, Flip Fluid Materials, we can add the uh, bubbles and so on by adding the uh, foam bubble and spray material. I'm not going to add a material to the surface. I'm just going to use a uh, default uh, glass material. But for the foam, I'm going to use the flip fluid foam material. And the same for the uh, bubbles and the spray. And that way we get the white stuff that you can see in the final animation in the beginning of the tutorial. Okay, and then we can bake the simulation. This is going to take some time. And then a few minutes later, we have the simulation with the animated water. And the next step of the tutorial is to set up the lighting and the materials. So let's start off by adding a background image for the lighting. And you can find free background images on polyhaven.com. And I just choose one of them. You don't have to log in or anything. You can just download directly from the site. So I'm going to choose this one in 4K. And then go back to Blender. And then we'll set the color to environment texture. And then open the HDRI that we downloaded. So open image. And then as you can see in rendered view, we now have the background image. I'm also going to increase the strength to 2. And then we can go into the render settings. And I'm going to use cycles because that looks much better for water. And then we can go down to film and make the background transparent so that we get the lighting of the background image without having to see the actual background image. And then we can add glass shaders, both for the water and for the cube. And let's also add a sun. So I'll we'll press Shift A and then sun. Set the strength to 3. And then you can press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And then I'm going to select the cube and decrease the roughness. I want to set it to zero. If you want it to look even more realistic, you can also decrease the IOR to 1.33, which is the IOR of actual water. And then just play around with the color of the stairs and so on. And then the next step of the tutorial is to set up the camera. So let's say one more time and then press Control alt number at 0 for camera to view. And then you can also press N and go to view and then lock the camera to view so that the camera follows your point of view. And I like this position of the camera. Now, before we set up the output settings and start the rendering, you can do the final adjustments. So if you want to do any changes to the colors and so on, this is the time to do it. And then once you're happy with the result, you can go back to solid view, go into the output settings, and I'm going to set the resolution to 4K. If you just want 1080p, you can just leave it at 100%. And then I'm going to create a new folder for the final render, because we're going to render them out as PNGs, and then you can convert them into an MP4 file later. And that is useful, because if you want to pause the rendering, 
you can do it with PNGs. And then you just press Ctrl F12 to start the rendering. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more Blender content.